So inside the front uh, hatch, we do have one can of tire weld. We also have the alloy wheel nut locking key, which is in here, and also this little tool here, which you can actually use to remove the cover on the wheel. Um, got the towing eye, which sits in the little grommet. And then over this side, we've got the fuse box. We've got the washer bottle and also the brake fluid reservoir as well. And down here, you can see the radiator. Right down in the bottom, you've got the battery, which is fairly small. Um, on this car, it's actually a banner. So I think I might actually renew that. Um, I've had banner batteries on my caterums in the past and they haven't lasted very long. They just all of a sudden died, even though the cars have been on t a, like a trickle charge or a, a C-Tech charger. So inside the car, you can see we've got the Nardi steering wheel. With this being the 160, the um, center pad, which is normally uh, grey, has been trilled, trimmed in um, Alcantara. Um, we've got the stack gauges um, and then across to the right you can see we've got the Peugeot 205 buttons um, and then we've also got the windscreen wipers and the indicators out of a Vauxhall I believe. I'm sure they were on my Corsa um, when I had one years and years ago. Inside the car this is obviously uh, has got a radio but there is actually a blanking cover over the front. Um, I think at some point I might actually sort of uncover that and see what's in there as well. <clears throat> okay, so to install the roof is very straightforward. So we take the right hand right hand cantrail, click it inside, take the left hand cantrail. Pop it in the side like that. Actually. There we go, and that's clicked in. Now we need the two bow connectors or bow rails. These sit across. Like that. Lean them forward. So here's the hood. You need to be careful, obviously, because there's some nice sharp. Or heavy metal bits at the end. So I'm going to carefully lower those two bits into the car. At the very front there's a little plastic segment that goes into the front. Just like that. properly in. Then carefully take the pins which are here and locate them into the holes at the back. Just like that. Okay now Now, under the cantrails, there's three press studs, which you put around, click, one, two, and three. Same on the other side, one, two, there's the third. Oh. Then we'll get the Allen key from out the car, which is kept just behind the driver's seat in a little rubber grommet. Okay. Pop it in there. We turn it clockwise, just make sure it stays in. This one goes anti-clockwise. And then push the two four wheels up. And that is the roof installed.
So here we've got the Sport 160 engine, lovely and clean. Uh, it's had loads of servicing done to it. And you can see over on the left hand side, it's still got the original um, airbox and normal air filter as well. Uh, as I mentioned on the previous video, the car has got a upgraded exhaust, which is the Lurini exhaust. Uh, so have a little bit of a we'll have a bit of a start up, so you can hear what that sounds like when it's cold. <laughs> 